Well, hello, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Diplomacy by Other Means. Um, I went back and was looking at some of my old textbooks from when I was in college. One of the books that I, that I studied during some of my political science classes was Von Clausewitz's uh, seminal work on war. And in it, there's a very famous quote that war is nothing more than diplomacy by other means. Um, you know, as a member of a civilized society, we like to believe that our powers of persuasion are enough for us to be able to achieve the objectives that we desire. And when that isn't enough, there are certain tools in place within civil society that allow us to be able to mediate our disputes without having to resort to violence. Unfortunately, not all participants in society feel this way. Criminals, specifically, they'll use violence as a means of obtaining objectives. And as a result of that, individuals that consider themselves to be citizens sort of owe it to themselves to develop the ability to be able to withstand the violence that these individuals would perpetrate on them at least long enough for the, the state to be able to intervene. Unfortunately, state intervention usually takes place anywhere from three to seven minutes actual, after the act has initially occurred, oftentimes meaning that that's just impractical. It's simply too long. Um, now, this particular week, one of the reasons why I was reviewing this stuff is that over the last couple of weeks, there have seemed to have been a, an uptick for lack of a better term, of individuals that for one reason or another have sought to use violence as a means of obtaining an objective, whether that violence was used to obtain, you know, cash or whether it was used to obtain political objectives or whether it was used to satiate interpersonal demons that were, you know, motivating them to engage in these horrific acts is really all not, not all that important. The fact of the matter is that they had all made the decision that violence was a necessary step that they were willing to take in order to achieve their objectives. We as a society abhor violence, and that's not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. We need to abhor violence, but we also need to be in a position where we understand violence and we understand the, the tools and the techniques necessary to be able to withstand and ultimately prevail against those that would act in the name of tyranny. And one of the things that I've mentioned before, tyranny is not exclusively the realm of the government. Tyranny is anyone that would transcend normal civil discourse, go beyond merely their powers of persuasion, and end up using violence or force as a means of obtaining an objective that they seek. That is the definition of tyranny, and that is something that each of us has a moral obligation to fight. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the blog. It gets a little esoteric, I'm not going to lie to you, but I hope you enjoy the blog. <coughs> As always, if you have any questions or comments and you'd like to you know, get a hold of me directly, you can always email me at stephen at artemishq.com. Um, and as always, train constantly, train consistently, and train with purpose. Until next week, stay safe.